Hi, this is Ryan with Website Islands, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to forward your domain email to Gmail, and then from within Gmail to send and receive email from your domain without the recipient knowing that it's coming from Gmail. There's a few reasons you might want to do this. You, you might like the Gmail interface more than your domain interface. You can manage all your email accounts from one location with Gmail. If you ever need to change web hosting companies, it's easier. There's a lot of storage page in space with Gmail. And you can also integrate the newer Gmail apps. I believe it's the business one for $5 a month with Microsoft Outlook, which can be useful if you're out on the road and you like to use Microsoft Outlook when you're at home. Log into your cPanel with your username and your password. And click on email accounts. If you haven't already created your email, you can create a new one. and after you've created your email go to your forwarder and if you haven't already created a forwarder to your gmail account you can create one I'm going to be using the info at quiettouch.com but I'm going to just show you how to create a forwarder I'm going to be sending it to that quiet touch gmail account the same one so just enter in the uh, the name of the email account that you're going to be forwarding and then forward it to the gmail account that you want to forward it to and click add forwarder now all the email from uh, info and sales at quiettouch.com in this example would go to uh, that gmail account okay so now we're going to do a test email just to make sure that uh, info at quiettouch.com email is going to Gmail that it's being forwarded correctly. So if we click the uh, refresh page from within Gmail, we'll see that email pop up. And there it is. So um, let me click on that. You can see if I use that little drop down that it's coming from info at quiettouch.com. Uh, if I were to reply to this email, uh, the only thing we've done at this point is we're just forwarding our domain email to Gmail. If, if you um, reply, uh, it's what's going to happen is um, if you want to send a message, It's going, to, it's going to be from Gmail still. And if you look at the top header here, it says quiettouchmassage at gmail.com. So it's still sending the email as Gmail, and we need to fix that. We wanted to, um, you know, so when somebody receives an email from, from you and, and you click reply, you want it to be directed to your uh, domain. So go to the gear icon and then click on uh, accounts and import. And then from there, um, add another email account. In this case, uh, I'm going to add info at quiettouch.com. And then the next, this gives me two options to send through Gmail or to send through quiettouch.com, SMTP. So I'm going to show you both. <coughs> Uh, in the first one, we're going to be sending it through Gmail, so I'm going to send the verification. And since you're already logged into Gmail, you can just go to your inbox. And since you're already forwarding your email to, to Gmail, you can just go to your inbox. If you haven't yet forwarded your email, you'll need to go to your domain. Go ahead and paste the code in there and verify. Now we can do a test. Um, you'll notice that from the top, it's giving me the option now uh, to change the Gmail into the Quiet Touch. So now I'm able to send email as info at quiettouch.com from within Gmail. But there's still some problems with this. You'll notice that um, it's it it is sending it, and if I click reply, it is coming. It is going to reply to info at Quiet Touch, which is the desired effect. But um, unfortunately, the recipient's still seeing, they can still see that it's being sent from Gmail. So 
uh, basically Gmail is willing to send your emails through their servers, but if they do that, they're going to make a note of it in the header. So we want to remove that on behalf of uh, text that you see. Um, we don't want people to know that it's coming from our Gmail. Maybe, maybe you don't want to share that Gmail account with anyone. So go back into your settings. And so the other way to set it up, first click on this reply from the same address. And that, that's not going to fix the problem, but I'll explain to you what that does later. Um, when you reply from the same address that the message was sent to. Go ahead and edit that. And this time, uh, go to the go next. And this time we're going to choose the second option, send through quiet touch. Uh, your domain uh, server. First you're going to need to get that information so go back into your cPanel click on your email account, click on more, click on configure email client and there's all your manual settings that you're going to, you're only going to need a few things here. The first thing you'll need is your username. Um, I don't use the uh, the plus symbol um, so I, what I'll do is under username I'll put in the the, the add symbol seems to work uh, more often than the plus symbol. Um, then for the password, just enter your email password that you would normally use to access that email. Under SMTP, if it filled it in on automatically, you need to double check. You can either do an un insecure one, which is just a regular outgoing, or you can use the secure one, the SSL. Um, make sure you get the port right. Whatever You can choose either method. Whatever method you choose, make sure you put in the right port. So in this example, I'm going to be using the secure, uh, the secure one. So I'm just going to paste that in there. The SMTP, it's going to be the same as outgoing and just put in the port there and uh, make sure it's correct, SSL or TLS, whichever one your, your administrator is giving you there. So now I just did a quick test email, a brand new email. So uh, I can see, you know, once again, it's, it's, um, it's being received to quiettouch.com. And this time when I reply, you'll notice that it automatically selected info at quiettouch.com. That's because I had ticked that box to automatically reply to whoever's sending it. Um, so now we're uh, going to just send send a reply back to see how that worked. And uh, you'll notice at the, at the top header what, what the client's going to see is info at quiettouch.com. They're, they're no longer seeing any evidence of Gmail. So we have succeeded. Um, with uh, setting up the 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 seamless domain uh, email. Uh, one more quick note: uh, you're going to need to, uh, if you're composing a new message, you're going to need to still select whatever email you want to send it to. You can have multiple emails to choose from there.